Right, try again. Monday morning. Hope we're all all right. That wouldn't have been a bad old day, is it? Good, good start to a nice week. Anyhow, it's going to be all right. It won't be long. Look, it'll be beginning of May. Anyhow, I hope everybody's okay. Staying safe. Keep smiling. I mean, weekend was, oh, the one the rain. We, we were not, I had to go past over the proclamation up there. And uh, it was torrents. Absolutely coming down steroids. But there we are. Keep smiling. We've got to keep going. Now, I've got a couple of birthdays. One's Nathan Jones. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday to Nathan. And another one is Chris Matthews. It's his birthday. But it's a special one today for my oldest brother, Jim. Yeah, happy birthday to you, boy. And I do look forward to coming down and having a bit laugh and a bit chat. Even if you're feeling a bit down, go down and see Jim. And you soon come out smiling and laughing and all good as gold. Jim all round, well, was an all round cricketer and then ended up being a, um, what was he, umpire as well. But uh, you've done a cracking job. You're, it's, it's just nice that he's our matriarch, really, of our family. So, uh, happy birthday to you, Jim. I will try and get down a bit later on, day, but you know what it's like, don't you? Now, look, I'm going to do one now called Truth Fair. Oh, come as in, Mrs. James, and sit down. I got some heaps to tell you since I last seen you. You know, we went up to the fair. Well, hook up the fire and I'll tell you all about it. Now, everybody been talking about the fair. Some said London wasn't in it. Others said twas that handsome you'd never want to come home again. Richard Henry been driving us pretty mad about going. So father said, come us on, mother. Put us on your on your new bonnet and let's go on fair. All right, I said. When the may be or delay egg, I'll get breakfast for Richard Henry. She been cackling a brave long time. Egg is good for growing boys. One long for income, Richard Henry, car and egg. Putting on in the kettle, I told. Make us there so we shan't see no fair. In went the egg. Now, now says I, look upon the clock. It's exactly nine o'clock, feather. You'll have to guess five minutes, because Richard Henry been and broke off the big ant. That clock reminds me of a place I used to go on Sundays, where a man with one arm was the only one allowed to take up the collection, said feather. It is time to take out the egg. A mind thee doesn't scat none, feather. Scat none? Dust, they say. Boy, he's been brought in the clone one. No wonder people say he'd turn after his feather. I'll hope he hits up the donkey, said Richard Henry. No, you went, says I. Who's going to hitch me up? You know I can't get on my stays. I saw a man want to work up bow with me, looking some wished he was. What's the matter, said I, aren't he well? No, I aren't, he replied, and to cheer up a bit, I asked, now's his donkey. Oh, dead he is. Dead, says I. How long he been dead? Well, I can't tell exactly, but if he'd lived till next Friday, he'd been dead three weeks. Come on, no time for cousin. I'll sit up in front with Feather, and Richard Henry, you get up behind. Are you all ready, asked Feather. Give, give self-starter, that's a donkey, a whack over with a stick, and down went his head and up went his hind legs, and over we all went. I won't go, says I. I know. I've busted something. Tight fit, we shall be able to go. He's mazed about something. Better fit you You was between the shafts, I told Feather. We got up again, and one long before we went up, got up a roof. Feather led the donkey all the way. I was in the, up in the shay, and Richard Henry run along behind. Oh, he's a good donkey, said Feather, but you've got to leave no who's the boss. That's gone up Moorfield, said cried Richard Henry. I can't wait. So we tied up South Starter to a lamp post and soon got shoved along with the crowd. There was hundreds of people stanking around everywhere. What with the bells ringing, organs playing, and smoke coming from the engines, Feather said his head was buzzing. Now, where's Richard Henry, says I. We've been and lost our boy. Oh, here he is over here. Sure enough, there he was over by a fat man with a, had a store with hundreds of little goldfish, one in each bowl. Look, said Richard Henry, they're the smallest red errands I've ever seen. Don't need to be so silly. These aren't red errands. Look more like small pilchards to me. After a good look round, we went up Fair Meadow. People were shoving here and there. Feather said, "'Twas a good place to learn to swim, "'cause you was never stand upon your own feet. We got up Fair Meadow, and twas some handsome. There was a man standing up in front of a show with a row of nearly naked girls, dancing they was. Let's go on and see the show. I don't care what it costs, said Feather. No, you went, I replied. I know he. Men are all alike. Come as on, have some and eat. I'm checking for a cup of tea. Oh, there's a nice eating house in Four Street. 
Let's go on in there. And in we went. A nice dinner for three and a good cup of tea I ordered. I'll be again in a minute or two, said Feather. No, you went. I don't know. You won't go back and look at that show. Sit us down. Upon that, a man with a little white apron comed up with three plates, and tis true as I'm sitting here, with one teddy on each plate, a diggy piece of beef and two or three peas. He bowed and asked if we wanted any sweets. Yes, I told him. Put us in a few peppermints, if you don't mind, too. I tell ye, we went in that eating house, un hungry and come out starving. What about a ride or two? What do you fancy, asked Father? The swing boats or the hobby us? All the swing boats for me and Richard Henry. But it was some job get me in. The show. The showman shoved and shoved. When I got in one side, I tumbled out the other. Well, at last I got in and the man gave a get shove and down. I went through the bottom of the boat. Oh, my dear, I was some bad. Man was in some way too and got a cup of water for me. And after a while, I got round again. Hey, what's the matter, Richard Henry? You're looking as white as a sheet. I'm feeling sick. I ain't going to eat no more limpets. Take me home, take me home. So we caught the next tram car back Camburn, but Father had go in again because he forgot a donkey that was tied to the limp post. Well, well, said Mrs. James, what a day. It must it must be going I must be going in now. Better stay and have tea with us now. Richard Henry has just come in from school. <laughs>